These are the two types of bioreactor vessels available. The STLV, the HARV, and the disposable HARV. Before use, the vessels should be washed in laboratory detergent and thoroughly rinsed. The plastic parts of the vessels can be scrubbed with a laboratory brush, but the membranes here and here should, be, should not be touched with any kind of an abrasive material. They can be washed either with the fingers or with a wet paper towel. After washing, the vessels can be placed in an autoclave bag or wrapped in foil and autoclaved at 121 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes. The bolts should be loosely tightened during autoclaving because the plastic parts of the vessel can expand and if they're tight it may cause cracking. After autoclaving the vessels are taken to a hood and the bolts are tight. It's not necessary to over tighten the bolts. Then disposable valves are placed on the ports. These come individually packaged and sterile and are discarded after each experiment. An empty syringe is placed on one of the fill ports. and a syringe filled with media is placed on the other port. The bubble which can be tilted to one side under the empty port is then removed by pushing media through one through one port and the bubble will come out the other port until you see media coming out. It's always a good idea to check and see if there's bubbles and then repeat the process as many times as necessary to get rid of the bubbles. By tilting the vessel you can see the bubbles if there are any remaining. When all the bubbles are out, the valves are closed and the syringes are removed and we recommend that all any remaining media in the valves be removed. And then the caps are replaced and the vessel is ready to be placed on the rotator base. The rotator base is in the incubator and the vessel is placed on the base by screwing it in to the base. It's not necessary to over tighten this either. Just snug. To change the media, the vessel is taken back to the hood and allowed to stand as shown until the cells in the media settle to the bottom. This may take 
uh, three to five minutes. After the cells have had a chance to settle, the large port is opened. And the media is removed using a pasture pipette attached to a vacuum source. Care should be taken not to disturb the cells at the bottom. Approximately three quarters of the media should be removed. so as not to inadvertently take cells out of the out of the vessel then the media is replaced as we showed uh, with loading the vessel and the cell, the vessel is returned to the rotator base in the incubator. There's a different procedure for changing the media in the harve vessel. In this case, uh, you tip the harve on its side so that the large fill port is facing upwards and allow it to sit and the cells will sediment to the bottom on the opposite side of the fill port. This could take three to five minutes. After the cells have sedimented, you open the fill port, making sure not to disturb the cell pellet at the bottom. And then aspirate approximately three quarters of the media being careful not to disturb the cells at the bottom. Then the, the vessel is filled with media in the same way as we showed before. Fill port is replaced and the vessel returned to the rotator base in the incubator.